lumbago, the definition, so you understand what we're going to be talking about this presentation. First one, I want you to know that loin is the actual word for lumbago, or lumbago comes from the Latin lumbus. So loin and ago is, ago means condition, so condition of the loins. And you see the picture of the cow, which is highlighted in the short loin, the sirloin, and the loin. Those are basically the area that's equivalent to a human low back. And in this case, because we're talking about low back pain, is about bending or fo bending forward or backwards, and that usually is from a nerve impingement. And then the lumbar vertebra are considered the low back which I'll explain next. So in anatomy, again, a little bit more understanding of what we're gonna be speaking about is you're gonna have, so in the left picture, you see the spine from cervical curve, thoracic, and then lumbar. Our focus today is going to be lumbar. So that lumbar spine, it's, there are five, different vertebra or different bones that stack up on each other and that's what composes the lumbar spine that's where the word lumbus comes from too and the picture on the middle you will see or the right is the muscles that are involved this is like facing somebody and they're facing your back so that's their back and you're seeing the muscles in that region and it's extensive because you have layers on top and then layers on the bottom because the back needs a lot of protection and movement to continue with anatomy uh, just to let you know that the some jargon a list on the right side of the picture you will see the cervical vertebrae also have a abbreviation of c so they have a letter and a number so C1 means cervical one, and that is your top, your very first vertebra. You have seven of cervicals, and then once from cervical to thoracic, we start seeing T, because T stands for thoracic. So we have T1 to T12. So the 12, and those are like the mid-back area. And then cervical is the neck, mid-back is the thoracic, and then the low back is the lumbar and that is L. So L1 to L5. There's five major bones there and we're going to speak about those specific bones. On the upper left you're going to see a vertebra but you're actually looking at it from the top. So it's right here now you're looking at it on, from the top. You're going to see the disc right there in the middle in I guess it's baby blue and that's called the intervertebral disc. We're just gonna call it disc for this presentation because it's much easier. And that's what actually stacks vertebra to another vertebra. It's like the cushioning between vertebra. And then in between the vertebra, you're gonna have this spinal cord. And that is the protection. That's what the lumbar spine is there, or actually the whole spine is there because it's a stack of bones protecting the spinal cord and the spinal cord is what sends nerve information from the brain to the rest of the body and to receive information from the outside world to the nerves and then to the brain. 